Hey guy, I was waiting for the train pass so I can make this video. Um, as you notice, everybody come here. I said over and over, it's just in black. MIB, men in black. Men and women in black. But uh, I'm making this video to document my ticket. You guys know I've done this before. Since so 2000. Uh, 15, I've documented how they use this nano ink, this fading ink on receipts and on the paperwork. So if you purchase something, the ink fades out so you won't be able to return the item or get your money back. Now this was given to me, if I can read the date on here, three days ago. 10 January 21 and as you can see the ink is already fading out the barcode is fading out the price is fading out so uh they would give me this ticket and I would not be able to prove that I paid this $228. Because where's my 228 anyway? But my first destination. You should have the 228. There it is. That's faded, fading out. Let me see, can I focus in on it? $228 that's fading out. I have bought the uh, a charger from uh, um, one of them stores, and when I got ready to take it back, it had already faded in, in less than uh, a day. But this one is fading out in uh, three days. So, by two, three days from now, I won't be able to prove that I purchased this because they'll say, well, uh, we cannot read your confirmation number, and you can't, can you? But my thing, like I tell them, you shouldn't depend on my information. You should already have this in your computer, in your system. My paperwork ain't the only thing printed out. You know my name. You know what I pay. So this should already be in your system. When they tell me, well, we we can't. But it's already fading out. So I would not be able to prove that I was supposed to go with this ticket just from Indio to Phoenix, Arizona. I would not be able to prove that I purchased this ticket because it's faded and out. I'll be right back. I'm going to check out some more of this ticket. So, I would not be able to use this ticket later on. All right, guys. Oh, I'll get my money back.